Hi class, Mr. Riley here, and happy summer. So hopefully uh, your summer is off to a good start. And even though it's summer, it's always time for a history lesson, right? So here I am at the beautiful Saratoga Spa State Park in T Saratoga Springs, New York, north of Carmel and just north of Albany. And I'm not here for a concert, even though um, concerts are back open. Uh, and I'm not here for a cross country race, but I'm rather here for the mineral waters, the springs of Saratoga. So I'm gonna be on a mineral spring test, taste testing test uh, to see um, if I can get rejuvenated uh, with the waters that the area is known for. So come join me on this mineral tasting hike. Under the direction of Franklin Roosevelt, the new spa was completed in 1935 as a place to relax and this is part of the first New Deal projects uh, under the Roosevelt administration. So it was government efforts that put this together and create the spa that's been restored uh, to how it looked back in 1935. Uh, so it's beautiful architecture modeled after the spas over in Europe. Uh, so you don't have to go to Europe to see some of the architecture. You can come right up to here to Saratoga Springs. All right, guys, so I'm at the trailhead for the Vale of the Springs, where some of the most iconic springs uh, that are in the area uh, await us. So let's go find out for ourselves and bring a container so we're gonna do some taste testing. All right, let's go. The sparkling mineral water that Saratoga is famous for originates with the limestone that is about 100 to 500 feet below the surface. Limestone is composed of sea creatures and other corals dating back to about 500 million years ago. So it's not just about history, but it's also about science. Many refer to the natural spouting springs as geysers. However, geysers only occur when heat is involved. Geysers are propelled out of the earth by pressurized steam. Saratoga spouters, whose temperatures range between 48 and 56 degrees Fahrenheit, are pushed to the earth's surface by pressurized carbonic gas. The mineral waters are highly carbonated and therefore more acidic than regular drinking water. The Iroquois were first attracted to the Saratoga area for its abundant hunting grounds but soon discovered the abundant mineral waters flowing from cracks in the earth. They believed that these mineral waters contained certain healing powers. The Iroquois shared their knowledge with the early settlers, including Sir William Johnson, who wanted to cure some of his ailments. Bathing spas were developed in the Saratoga region and became popular. Soon, Saratoga was known as Queen of Spas. The mineral waters of the Saratoga State Spa have long been known for their medicinal qualities, and the most common was to either bathe or drink the water. The Orenda Spring supposedly has a high rate of potassium iodide, so here's the good health. Yeah, we'll see. I'm here along Geyser Creek, a small tributary that will flow into the Hudson River and then eventually to the Atlantic Ocean. Behind me is a mineral spring with the water constantly flowing and depositing mineral deposits such as iron, and for centuries this has been flowing and it's led to quite the buildup. All right guys, so that concludes our walk through Saratoga Springs. So this is the first of our summer series of fun in the Hudson Valley and the state of New York, where you can go check out nature, science, 
and just get out and enjoy the fresh air. All right, guys, bye for now and keep living history.